Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today we'll be looking at how to cut a short fitted gown with one side that is. As you can see it on the screen. So let's begin on how to cut it out. So with the explanation on how to sew. Thank you. You can see it is on four steps. The one side bracket is called the long sleeve and the fitted gown. So the costume, I'm going to start with the fitted gown, then it's one side uh, jacket, then the collar, then the long sleeve. So let's start with the cutting. Welcome to the cutting section. I'm using this paper to cut out the pattern. The style is of four stages. The collar, the fitted gown, the one side um, jacket, and the long sleeve. So now I'm going to start with the body, which is this fitted part of it. So the length of the gown is 31 inches. The bust is 34. The hip is 40 inches. So now this is into two already so i'm going to fold it into four leaving a zip allowance of one inch this is into two now this is into four so if you want the slits at the back to overlap there is a way to fold it so before you fold it into four you have to make one side bigger than the other like this if you want it to overlap at the back, so you have to fold it like this first, then into four, like this. leaving your zip allowance again. So you can see this side is bigger than this side. You can see that means you want the back to be overlap. So now I'm going to start with the shoulder. The shoulder measurement is. 14 so into divide by 2 give us 7 so this is 7 inches for the shoulder the ammo is also 7 inches then the half cut is 15 inches so from the half cut you determine the hip point so I'm using 8 to determine the hip point so this is the ammo, this is the half cut, and this is the hip point. So the bust here, like I said earlier, I said it's 34. So 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. This is my 8.5. So I'm using waist 28. So 28 divided by 4 gives us 7. This is 7. And the hip, I'm using hip 40. 40 divided by 4 gives us 10. This is my 10. So now I'm going to put a seam allowance of one and a half inches. So this is my one and a half inches of seam allowance. Yet two. One and a half inches of sewing allowance. Yet two. One and a half inches of seam allowance. So I'm, I'm going to sketch it out. Like this, like this, then like this. I want to cut it out. To the hip, then from the hip, I'm starting it out like this. So now this is the fitted part of it. You can see it. So I'm, I'll cut the neck out now. So I'm going to start with the back neck first. So the wide neck, I'm starting from here. Don't forget, this is the same and this is a zip allowance with with the slit at the back 
So the wideness of the neck here, I'm using 3 inches. Then the deepness, I'm using because there will be a collar. So I'm using 1.5 inch for the deepness. Then you cut it out. So I'm cutting both the back and the front together. So this is it. So I'm going to keep the back aside. So I'm done with the back now. Now this is the front. After keeping the back aside. So I'm going to open it. For you to see exactly how I'm going to go about the front now. This is our front. I'm going to take my measurement. From here to the waist. Waist 15. Before then, I'm going to to dip my neck with this is um I'm going to dip it to three inches three inches because this is the front like this after then I'll open it then continue with the measurement I make here. So after then, so from the center, I'm going to measure three inches. Like this. Then from that three inches, I'm going to make a slant line from the shoulder to the three inches. Like this. So, from here to the half court. Like this. So, ignore all this line. This is the main line. So, I'm starting the cutting from here. Then to the half cut. Then you stop. Then from here, from the half cut, you are going to take it to the hip like this. this when you fold it like this you can see this is the color the color has already shown if you think this side is too big you can decide to reduce it by so let me show you how to reduce it i'm reducing this by one and a half inches So from the one and a half inches, I'll, I'll go down to the half cut. So you can see this is now perfect. Then we are through with the ones. So it will me the other part that is going to have jacket this is the other front don't forget with this particular style you're going to cut out two fronts so this is the other front that i'm going to use for the jacket parts so now i'm going to
cut out the jacket, the shape of the jacket now. So the first thing you're going to do is that you take the measurements of your jacket, the length. The length of the jacket here, I'm using 27. Like this. So after that, the next thing you're going to do is to determine the half cut, which is 15 inches. So from the half cut, you determine the center. This is our center. So from the center, you determine three and a half inches. Like this. These are three and a half inches. Like this. So after then. So from here. I'm going to make a curve line. It's not going to be a slant. It's going to be a small curve to the length over here. So, like this. As you can see, it's not this line. This is the main line that we are using. So, the next thing I'm going to cut out is the neck. How the neck is going to be so we're going to do the way we did for the first one so that's exactly how we are going to do for the second one I'm going to make this line 9 inches line then after then I'm going to slot it in to the main line here like this like this So this is going to be so the next thing here is to cut it out. So we're going to cut like this, like this, then like this. So now I'm going to start from the neck. So I'm starting the cutting from here. this way and if you see that this particular um, angle is too much you can decide to it. so you can decide to reduce it with one and a half inch or two inch the way we did for the first one so let me reduce this one to weight one and a half inch So now, this is the first side that I cut earlier, and this is the second side. So for you to make a correction, you have to place it on one another to see where you are going to make a correction. So now, after placing it like this, you take your measurement, your measurement tape, you measure from here. That are they equal? This is 5.1 inches. Then, here, this is five and a half inches. So, you're going to 
make as that 5.1 it is the way you did for the first one so with that you're going to deduct this particular area from it this particular area you're going to deduct it from it so then you take your scissors then you cut it out So you can see after when I've cut out the excess part of it, this is how it's going to be. Make sure it's equal and it's and this fee appear at the center and it overlap to cover this area, this particular area. Now the folding from the folding of this color, it has to start at the same place with this and this so you're not just going to fold you're going to measure the the length at which the folding starts so this is 3.1 inches so when you take a measurement your table from here to this is three point it's supposed to be here too so you have to increase it like this and so this is all 3.1 so after then, after increasing like this, you should know that this area, the length is now longer than this particular one. So you still have to reduce it to get the exact measurement you want. So this is the uh, exact film 5.1. So this should also be 5.1. So this is 5.1. Right here. So I'm still going to cut it out. The one. So with this, without this correction, this is the exact measurement that we want, and this is the exact shape that we want. So that's exactly how the font is going to look like. So it should be the color now. Don't forget that before you can cut out the color, the measure, the long, the length of the color, you have to sew the shoulder first. Then you take your tape around the neck to know the length of the color you're going to join it with. So now. This is what I'm talking about. So after we join the two shoulder, the shoulder, the second shoulder, from the back shoulder with the front shoulder together, then you take your table to measure it round like this, like this, like this. Then to come back to the end point here. So that is when you're going to know the exact length. Yeah, so as we were using 15 inches at it was shown at the at this color side 15 inches length so so 15 inches shoulder length is my 15 inches to so the same allowance of two inches I did making 17 inches so I'm going to cut out the 17 inches then this is being folded into two. So now I'm going to fold it into four now, like this. So now it's after when I fold this into four, like this. So the next thing is the wideness of the collar. It depends on how wide you want the collar to be. Like here, I'll be using four inches with the same allowance. So it might be 3 inches, so I'm using a same allowance of 1 inches, so making 4 inches, like this.
Now this is into four. So the line, so I'm going to start from here. So determine the area, the length that is going to stay around the neck. It's 15 inches. So with the same allowance of two inches, give us 17 inches. So 17 divided by two is eight and a half. Is it eight and a half? So from this eight and a half, I'm going to make a slant. So the wideness of the collar here, three and a half inches with the same allowance. It depends on how wide you want your collar to be. But yeah, I'm using three inches. So with the same amount of an half inch. So it was three and a half inches. So like this. Like this. So this is how it's going to be. <coughs> I'm using 22 inches for the length of the sleeve. It's 22 inches with the same allowance, so it's 20 inches all together. So I'm going to sketch out the sleeve, the one that is, the side that is going to be at the shoulder, at the ammo to the shoulder. This is how it's going to look like. And yeah, so yeah, I'm using eight inches with the same allowance for the oneness of the sleeve so yeah i'm using four inches which give me eight inches for the oneness of the sleeve at the wrist here so now i'm going to cut it out You might not be using the exact measurement as my because it depends on the measurements you are dealing with. So, this is the sleeve. Let me show you how it's going to place on the neck. Overlapping slits that we cut up so like this. So the next one is this one, then this, like this. Then when this out join this particular side, when you start with the cut, maybe you are going to cut out a facing. So after when you turn it without facing, you join the shoulder. When you join the shoulder, you join the, the sleeve. The next thing is to join the two sleeves. The two sleeves. So after when the two sleeves are joined to the, to the shoulder, you join the collar. So the color. Then after you turn the the shoulder, the color, it starts from the from here. Then you round it across the the neck, and it's going to end here also. So this is going to look like the way you can see it on the picture. So at least with this pattern you'll we'll be able to achieve this type so at the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching like and share bye